How Elizabeth II Hazed the Saudi King In 1998, Abdullah of Saudi Arabia visited Balmoral. It was a visit he would never forget. Neither he nor Queen Elizabeth spoke of it in public, but both acknowledged it in private. Elizabeth was quite proud of it, in fact. Here's what happened. Abdullah was technically a crown prince in 1998, but he was the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia. That is why he was invited to Balmoral Castle. The British royal estate was the queen's favorite retreat. 1998 was a time of change for both royal houses. In the UK, Diana had just died the previous year. In Saudi Arabia, King Fahd had a severe stroke in 1995. This left Abdullah in charge of the kingdom. In September 1998, the queen invited Abdullah for lunch. Then she invited him on a tour of the 50,000-acre estate. Abdullah was hesitant. As a conservative Saudi, he didn't feel comfortable. But he was accompanied by his foreign minister, the Urbane Prince Saad bin Faisal. So he agreed, and they all processed outside. In front of the castle stood a line of royal Land Rovers. Abdullah was instructed to take the passenger's seat. His interpreter sat in the back, behind him. What happened next came as a shock to both. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II got into the driver's seat. Without further ado, she turned the ignition and drove them away. Of course, it's not customary for the British monarch to drive. It's even less customary for them to drive their guests. But the 72-year-old Elizabeth knew what she was doing. She had learned to drive in the Women's Auxiliary Force during World War II. Elizabeth reportedly enjoyed driving. She didn't often get a chance to practice it. But that wasn't why she took the wheel that day. Women were banned from driving in Saudi Arabia at the time. Her Majesty knew it. She also knew the Balmoral estate well. So she began speeding the Land Rover through the narrow mountain roads. She drove at speeds through the highlands, talking all the time. Abdullah was visibly nervous. Elizabeth pretended not to notice. Through his interpreter, the Saudi implored her to slow down. He asked her to concentrate on the road ahead. The queen only smiled. Five years later, in 2003, she relayed this story to Sir Sherard Cooper Coles. He was named Her Majesty's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia. The queen told him the story because she found it funny. A few months later, Cooper Coles had his first meeting with Abdullah. I have brought greetings from Her Majesty the Queen, the Englishman said. Who has shared with me fond memories of your drive through the highlands? Abdullah broke into a broad grin, recounting his nervousness. Prince Saad, who was also at the meeting, commented, I suspect, Ambassador, that Her Majesty steers the ship of state more steadily than she drives a Land Rover. Abdullah was officially crowned King of Saudi Arabia in 2005. He reigned until his death in 2015. The Saudi ban on women driving was lifted in 2018. It followed years of protests and arrests of female activists. Elizabeth II died in 2022 at the age of 96. She had outlived both the king and the driving ban.